keeping with its directive to foster and create meaningful contributions to national development, the Ministry of Education has started an Upgrades to School initiative. Proud of its successes over the last school year, the Ministry is very excited about the project, the work which they have completed, and the promising prospects of those still underway. The first school to benefit from this initiative was the Kayon High School, where an entire building has been erected to replace a dilapidated one. It is the aim of the school to use the newly constructed building to provide more courses in the technical and vocational education and training to its students. We can only expect so much from students if we put them in a particular environment. And this environment isn't one that I want to see students in. We have finally been able to begin to restore, to rehabilitate this particular building. It is now supposed to be used for woodwork and for technical join. We have gone a little further though, and we have decided to put classroom space also on the upper level so rather than it being a one-story building as it was before it will become a two-story building deputy chief education officer daryl lloyd speaking on behalf of the ministry gave brief remarks on the importance of maintenance and urged the students to care of their new facilities the ministry is on a drive to really get rid of all of the dilapidated buildings in our schools we recognize that if our children are to perform effectively, it means that the environment as well as the academics must all go hand in hand. And so we want to say particularly thanks to CDB through BNTF for the invested funds that would assist us because we recognize that we cannot do it alone. We want to send a clarion call, a serious call to our children to take very good care of the facility. It's a lot of money that was invested here in this school and so we really want to encourage the community and the students and the teachers to really take very good care of this facility. Renovations were also done to the music building to boost the morale of students. Staff and students of the Virchiles High School can now breathe a sigh of relief. In past school terms, the school was the victim of several break-ins. In an attempt to curtail the efforts of the burglars, the Ministry of Education has installed new security cameras on the school premises. Over the past few years, we've had uh, break-ins, we've lost computers, we've lost other important equipment, and so we look at this installation as being very important we would like to thank the Ministry of Education for allowing this work to be done here and I'm hoping that going forward we can be protected by these cameras and so we should not have theft on that level. The company HD Security Services installed the cameras around campus. After several years of combating flying and crawling insects, as well as leaking roofs and unsecured windows, the Edgar T. Morris Primary is now receiving a much needed upgrade. The ministry commenced repairs at the school in which windows, roofs and doors were either repaired or replaced. Principal of the school, Cathal Brown, expressed her overwhelming gratitude. It was a great initiative on the ministry's part when they decided to renovate the school. I am very grateful for this and I am so waiting for this to be finished so that we can return to our well refurbished school and that we can give the students the necessary education that will help them to become upstanding citizens in this community. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Vincent Hodge, was on site during some of the work and ensured the principal and staff present that maintenance and upgrades is high on the Ministry's agenda and all efforts would be made to update facilities. The Ministry of Education is on a move to make sure that all of our buildings are upgraded and we improve on the, the structural capacity of our buildings the physical appearance of the buildings as well as the surroundings. So 
again we want to apologize to parents teachers to the children but in the end we have to make sure that our buildings are in top shape so that we can continue to deliver quality education to all our students Several other schools around the island, namely the Estridge Primary, Edgar T. Morris Primary, Violet Petty and Joshua Obadiah Williams Primary Schools were the beneficiaries of new security guard shed. Other improvements made were the replacement of doors around the school's campuses. At the Ministry of Education, our focus is not just on ensuring that students receive a quality education in classrooms that are also of a high quality. We pay attention to the entire physical plant. We pay attention to all of the staff that is inclusive of the auxiliary staff at all institutions. On previous visits to the school, the security officers would have made the complaint that the guard hut, which was a wooden one, was leaking as such their efficiency, their productivity it was being hampered and the ministry took a decision uh, that we have to ensure that just as the teachers and the students are comfortable at this institution so must be the auxiliary staff in this case the security officers. Other schools that have received repairs during the academic year are the Dr. William Connor Primary and several early childhood centers. The Joshua Obadiah Williams Primary and Tyrrell Williams Primary Schools received much needed upgrades and repairs to their kitchen. Staff and students of the Sandy Point Primary School will soon be able to use their newly constructed bathroom facilities. Work is currently being conducted at the school's campus to improve the overall aesthetics of the school in the form of erecting new classrooms and the maintenance of the original structure. The Kayan Primary School's hall also received a much needed improvement. Work done to the hall includes the replacement of windows and doors, new electrical fixtures, a fresh coat of paint and the inclusion of ceiling fans. A number of schools will receive upgrades over the coming months as necessary in the ministry's thrust to keep schools a safe and healthy learning environment. The Ministry of Education encourages the wider community, the business community, alumni associations at home and abroad to look for ways and means of increasing assistance to our school. Education is a partnership and as such we invite organizations and individuals to come forward and lend support to teaching and learning.